Why, hello, Fail Project Gamers. This is Madison Page. Psych. Hey guys, this is Tom. We're back at Fail Project Games playing Heavy Rain. Today we are going to be playing as Maddie. Electrified. Wednesday, 9 6 p.m., 2.346 inches. Oh my god. Don't just stand there. I bet that wouldn't have happened if you didn't get hit at all. Like, I bet you wouldn't have gotten burnt in the littlest bit. And drop him. Nah, it'd be funnier if she, like, completely dropped him. Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Are those burn marks on your chest? Oh my god. What happened to him? Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. You've got a hell of a fever. You're gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. See what we got in the magic cabinet of stuff. Well, it looks like we got everything in the magic cabinet of stuff. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Uh, disinfectant. Just splash it all over him. Crap! It's disinfected. Not terribly good for burns. Oh. Oh, come on! Sorry. It said if you went you. slow, you don't tear up your arms. Ah, uh, too hard, too hard, too fast, too hard. Your wounds are disinfected. Ointment. <laughs> Mix 
the squishiest sound ever. <laughs> ah. Sorry, I'll take it easy. Come on, I went slow. What? <laughs> Sorry, I'll take it easy. That's bull. You only got two attempts to. What Jeez, the hell? I'm not sure I'm helping him. I better stop. Well, it did something. Oh, never mind. It's just white. Oh, the box isn't under his bed. That's not good. <laughs> That's such a dramatized, like, almost falling asleep motion type thing. child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. <sighs> you said you were here because you're an insomniac? I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, it's not easy. That's the second time I found you in a bad way. You always seem to be running for your life. What's happening, Ethan? Hmm, let's see. Hypothesis. You mixed up with the Mafia? Owe someone money? Something <laughs> like that? Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. No I... one can help me. You've already done a lot. Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. Hmm. Alright. I kinda wish I'd been able to patch him up the right way, but whatever. I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Hmm. 
Has Sean Moss's mother's here. She'd like to speak with you. Uh-oh. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning, the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. <laughs> Find my son. I'm begging you. Jaden's like, hmm, it's not Ethan. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. This is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. I know you don't want to protect a murderer. If you know anything, you must oh, tell no. us, Doctor. Should. I I'm should sorry. Have done that. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate for your own sake. Doctor, a child's life's at stake. You may know something. So no matter that can what help we have to make him Are talk you threatening to us? me. I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. I'm going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're going to be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I'm really going to lose my temper. What are you doing? You out of your mind? Back off, Jay. Let go. This guy knows something and I'm not leaving here until he tells you me what it is. You have no right. <laughs> Where's your problem, Blake? visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. He must have fallen out of his pocket. Well, he's not the origami killer. So they're origami. You know, like Kramer. <laughs> origami. I still find it hilarious that he said it that way. Good cop. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. 
floor again. What the hell? We weren't even Jaden in that. We were just going on a cutscene. Now we're gonna be Scott. Two point nine nine two inches. Thursday, nine a.m. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. Huh. It's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens, either. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. You seem to have a knack for it. That beginner's luck. Hmm. Obviously, he's gonna ask him something. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. Oh, that's nice. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. You guys say anything, Kramer? My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shaw, and I did very well. trying to find me. Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. You don't go near my son, Mr. Shaw. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Anyway guys, that's it for this one. Next time we're going to be Ethan again. See yas.